amidst the well-populated suburbs of Athia. Just outside Kalambo lies the marshy lands of Benlamila Athia Sanctuary. Bordering the famous Benlamila Buddhist Temple, the sanctuary has rich and diverse wildlife. Despite its comparatively smaller area, the Bellamilla Athiya Sanctuary is a forested wetland which includes mangroves and freshwater marshes. There are a large number of species of birds, butterflies, fish, mammals, amphibians, reptiles found, sometimes recorded for the first time, for only time, in the Bellamilla. Sixteen of these species are endemic to Sri Lanka and five species are nationally threatened. Many species of animals, plants and other organisms are disappearing from the Bellam Villa Atiya Sanctuary by direct or indirect human activity. It is becoming increasingly difficult for the invaluable wetland to carry out its functions as a sophisticated mechanism for flood prevention, purification of water, soil and air, and also to be the only suitable habitat and nesting ground for certain species. A sanctuary for only on paper, the fight for a, by only a handful of people who understand its importance. The Belang Villa Atria Sanctuary is dying. Up to 374 hectares in extent, the Belang Villa Atria Sanctuary is situated within the upper catchments of the Bulbura River Basin. It consists of small sized trees and shrubs scattered amongst marshes shallow ponds and, and waterways and grasslands that get flooded seasonally. The waterways connect this wetland to the Bulgola marshes and Kalambo wetlands, which facilitates easy movement for its animal inhabitants from one marsh to the other, which is an important factor for sustaining and protecting the animal life within an ecosystem. For the many species of migratory birds, this essential nesting ground for the multitude of local animal life, some endemic and some are in, even endangered, is the only home. It provides the protection from flood, from foods to the surroundings which is rapidly becoming densely populated and urbanized. The need a robust groundwater drainage and purification system. But ironically, this urbanization is precisely what has led to the swift destruction of the Bellang Miller Atelier Sanctuary and its and the life it holds. A wetland, as the name implies, is an area of land that is inundated, wet or moist throughout the year, and a separate ecosystem as well, comprising of a large collection of species of fauna and flora. Wetlands are an integral part of Sri Lanka's unique ecological and biological diversity. They are important parts of the land that is between terrest terrestrial ecosystems and natural aquatic ecosystems, for forming an interface between land and water. Wetlands possess natural water retention capacity due to their abundant vegetation. 
They clean the water, recharge the water supply, reduce flood risks, provide habitat for fish, animals and plants that could thrive elsewhere, provide feeding and breeding grounds for other migratory species. They play a crucial role in maintaining the carbon dioxide levels of the atmosphere as they naturally trap organic carbon and carbon dioxide. They showcase beautifully the delicately balanced, extremely rich ecosystem, providing unparalleled edu educational and research facilities to the citizens of the city. They provide invigorating oases, wetlands functions like natural tubs or sponges, storing water and slowly releasing it. This process shows the water's momentum and erosive potential, reduces flood height, minimizing flood damage to property and life, and allows the foreground water recharge, contributing to the flow to surface water systems during dry period.